Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go ahead and do a comparison between the um, Mica MB42 and the Mica MB42X. X is the newer version or more like an upgraded version. The only difference between the two is the X comes with um, an appropriate crossover that based on specs, these speakers are slightly better. Uh, now the question is, is it worth paying that little extra price? Uh, let's find out. We'll do some sound test. I'm only using one amp. Um, I was going to use another one, uh, but I don't have a power supply, so I don't know what to do. And without a power supply, I can't really hook up two different amp to run these things. Uh, so I'll just have to, in between, just switch the wire, swap out the wires in the back and continue with the playback. So that's pretty much it. There isn't a whole lot to look here. There isn't a whole lot to talk about here. Um, everything else is the same. We're just going to play some tracks and I'll give you guys my feedback on what I notice, uh, you know, what sort of sound differences I can pick up. As usual, uh, the microphone is about a feet and a half away from uh, the speakers and I'm going to keep the volume at, um, you know, medium, not increase it too much. Uh, we'll keep the treble and the bass exact same. Um, so just to show you guys what that looks like. Yeah, it's just, it's not a whole lot. I'm not maxing it out. It's at a position where I like it. And same thing with treble. It's at a position where the audio sounds a lot clearer to me. Uh, volume, I'm not going to mess with that too much. Um, it'll just stay at, you know, quarter way in. That's plenty of uh, audio for the microphone to pick up. And let's go ahead and uh, do some sound testing and we'll figure that out. So we'll start off with a uh, MB42 and then I'll switch the MB42X in between. Um, and as usual, I'll play one of those tracks that I'm familiar with that I already know uh, so then I can kind of understand and uh, talk about some of the differences with low frequency or high frequency that I notice. Okay, let's do it. Okay, MB42s are all hooked up. Power on. And let's play. Let's go ahead and switch to the MB42X. All right, power on for the MB42X. And we'll continue from where we left off. It does sound, I can hear the low frequency a little better on this one. Yeah, you can definitely hear the difference. All right, um, so I can definitely hear the difference between the MB42 and MB42X. Um, so having the crossover unit does help. Let's go. Let's go ahead and switch over, so, and uh, you know we'll continue where we left off. All right, I think that that's uh, pretty good. So you can definitely hear the difference uh, between the two. You know, uh, and and the bigger question is. Is it really worth paying that extra money uh, to get the X version versus, 
getting uh, the old one and it's really subjective uh, you could go either way they're gonna sound very very similar to you very very close but depending on your amp and depending on what you're listening to music gaming movies whatever um, you know go with whatever fits your bill budget a little costly but not that costly but yeah uh, there you have it head to head uh, really really quick comparison between the two speakers and the specs kind of speak for itself and you can uh, tell the difference go with the x version plays a lot stronger can uh, will push those uh, low frequencies a lot better um, yeah that's kind of it pretty short huh well, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. I got a couple other speakers that I'm going to do unboxing of. And then we're also going to do um, uh, an unboxing and a sound test of a subwoofer. I got one recently. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.